Hey guys, Jennifer here with The Family Fudge, and in today's video I have some very special lunch ideas to share with you, and that's because this week we're celebrating my daughter Mackenzie's 10th birthday. All of the lunches this week are going to be themed around lots of her favorite things and her favorite foods. Making a special week of birthday lunches has become kind of a family tradition that I've been able to do with all of my kids, and honestly I think I'm probably just as excited about about this tradition as they are. So stay tuned you guys and I will share all of these lunches with you. Hey guys and happy Monday. Today's lunch is going to be inspired by a YouTuber that both Mackenzie and I enjoy watching and that is Rosanna Pansino. Now you guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you're also subscribed to her channel since she is a huge YouTuber who also makes really cute food. Mackenzie and I especially enjoy her nerdy nummy videos and nowadays she even has her own line of baking supplies that you can find on Amazon. So that's exactly what I'm going to be using for today's lunch. To make today's lunch, I actually started on it last night because I knew I wanted to make a really special treat for this Rosanna-inspired lunch. For this treat, I'm going to be using Rosanna's silicone poop emoji cake pan, but it's all in good fun and I think Mackenzie will get a big kick out of these. Well, I think all of my kids will really because even though I'm making this week's lunches with Mackenzie in mind, I'm really making lunches for all of my kids as well. So once I gave this really fun pan a good wash, I was ready to get started, but I still wanted this to be really easy. I did go ahead and use this Devil's Food cake mix. Now Devil's Food just means it's really, really chocolatey, which is excellent for these. Perfect coloring as well. And really I just threw this together according to the directions on the box. And then to make getting the batter into the pan a little bit easier, I thought the best tool for the job would be my ice cream scoop. Unfortunately, I only have one of these pans, so I can only cook six of these little cupcakes at a time. But before I stuck them in the oven, I did make sure to go ahead and like really tap down on the pan. I wanted to make sure that there were no air bubbles trapped in there. And I also wanted to make sure that the batter would get into the mold so that when it was done, it would keep the poo emoji shape. Now basically these cooked just like regular cupcakes would, but as you can see, since this was my first time, I did end up overfilling this pan a little bit, which isn't necessarily a problem, but I decided I did want to go ahead and trim off the muffin tops. And I actually have the perfect tool for doing this. I have this cake slicer. Back in the day, I used to do a lot of cake decorating, so I have a good amount of tools left over from those days. And surprisingly, this worked perfectly. And you guys, I'm not going to be throwing out these muffin tops. Definitely going to save those for later. And then came the moment of truth. Would these come out of the pan in one piece or would they be a horrible sticky mess? And check it out you guys, they turned out so good. Okay guys, so last night after I baked all of these poo emoji cakes, I went ahead and just let them cool down completely and now that it's Monday, I'm ready to finish them off. And to do this, I'm just using some of these jumbo candy eye sprinkles. I got these at Target. And to sort of glue them onto our little cakes, I'm just using a little bit of frosting that I put in a Ziploc bag. Check it out, you guys. These are so easy to make and they're definitely a fun, special treat. So now that I have the special treat done, it's time to move on to the rest of the lunch. And today's lunch is going to be meat-free. And usually on our meat-free days, my go-to is a PB&J. And I thought it'd be really fun to make some mini PB&J sandwiches using Rosanna's super cute cookie cutters. These actually cut out the shape and also stamp the top. So for these sandwiches, I'm just using some regular bread some good old Jif peanut butter, and Mackenzie's current favorite type of jam, which is just plain strawberry with no seeds. I just put a little bit of peanut butter and jam on each piece of bread, and then to add even more detail to these sandwiches, I also used my little food writer pens, which are basically food coloring. For Mackenzie's fruit today, I'm going to be adding in some strawberries. 
but I thought it'd be really cute to go ahead and cut these into heart-shaped strawberries. You guys know I love doing that. It's super easy and quick, but also really cute. Back over in this section, I'm also gonna be adding in two different kinds of veggies. First up, I'm adding some carrots, and I did go ahead and cut these into carrot fries using my crinkle cutter. And then in the back section here, I'm also just adding in a few pieces of celery. To go along with the veggies, I'm also gonna be including some Greek yogurt ranch dip. And I got some really cute new sauce containers on Amazon. So I'm just gonna put a little in here and then put that on the side. For Mackenzie's snack today, I'm going to be adding in just a handful of these bugles. These are such a tasty little snack. And of course, my kids love to put these little things on their fingers fingertips and I'm going to go ahead and add these to one of my reusable bags kind of like a Ziploc bag but this one you can wash out and use over and over again now back to that special treat our poo emoji cupcake that I made yesterday I think he'll fit perfectly in this separate container this should keep it fresh and keep it from getting crushed and then last but not least for Mackenzie's drink today she's just gonna be taking some water in her new larger water bottle. And there you have it guys. And of course, when she gets back home, Mackenzie will show you what she ate. Okay, Kenzie, what'd you think? I really liked it. Let's see, I see the cupcake is gone, mm -hmm. but you didn't eat the sprinkles? No, they're too hard. Kind of hard. And the bugles are gone. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the cupcake. The little cupcake. Cute. Good job today. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Tuesday. For today's lunch, I'm going with a Minnie Mouse theme. Currently, Mackenzie's favorite Disney character is Minnie Mouse, so this is perfect. Although, if you ask her what her favorite character is next month, it will probably be something different. So to go along with this Minnie Mouse theme, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out this super cute Minnie Mouse lunchbox I recently got at Target. And then just like yesterday's lunch, I'm actually gonna be starting by making the special treat first. I'm gonna be using these strawberry flavored cinnamon rolls to make some mini Minnie Mouse cinnamon rolls. Now, I've never actually made these before, but I have an idea and I think it's going to work. So what I'm gonna do is open up this packet and I'm going to very carefully take out that icing that comes with it. I'm just gonna set that aside for now. Then I'm gonna go ahead and break apart each cinnamon roll to begin with. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the cinnamon rolls and I'm going to unroll the entire roll. Then using my kitchen scissors, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the roll in half. Then to one of the halves, I'm gonna cut that in half again. I hope that makes sense. So essentially I'm making one large piece and two smaller pieces. With my larger piece, I'm gonna go ahead and just roll that up into a roll. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the smaller pieces. And when I attach all three circles together, we have a Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse shape. I'm gonna go ahead and do this with all of the cinnamon rolls. This does get a little messy, but it's very easy to do. And now that I have all of those together, I'm just gonna pop them into the oven for about 10 minutes. Now, while those are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and throw together the rest of these lunches, and that means making some egg salad. Now, I actually did hard boil these eggs yesterday just to make it a lot faster. So to make this egg salad, I'm just gonna start by slicing up all of the eggs, and then my kids like a pretty basic egg salad, not too fancy at all. I'm just adding a little bit of mayo and then a good squirt of dill pickle relish, followed by a little bit of salt and pepper, and that is it. I'm just going to mix this all together. And then for the bread itself, I am gonna go ahead and pre-cut the bread using this Minnie Mouse shaped cutter. Of course, the Minnie Mouse also comes with an added bow piece. So it's actually gonna be kind of like making one and a half sandwiches. So now I have my Minnie Mouse piece full of egg salad and the little bow piece as well. To add more detail to Minnie's bow, I'm just going to take my red food writer pen and I'm going to just kind of outline the bow a bit, maybe fill in the center. And then to make sure the bow doesn't fall off in the lunchbox, 
I'm just going to secure it with a little food pick. I think one of these heart-shaped ones will be perfect for the job. And there you have it, a super cute Minnie Mouse egg salad. I know Mackenzie is going to love it. Next up, the fruit and veggie. For the vegetable, I thought I would go ahead and add in some broccoli because after all, broccoli does look like mini trees, so it kind of goes with the mini themed as well. I'm going to decorate the little broccoli area with a Minnie Mouse ring, and I'm also going to put in a little bit of ranch dip in a separate container. This will go perfectly with the broccoli. For Mackenzie's fruit today, I'm going to go ahead and add in a mandarin orange, which after all really looks like a mini orange, so it's kind of mini themed as well. Next up, I'm adding in the snack, and you guys, I was super excited to see these goldfish crackers because not only is there a Mickey Mouse shaped one in there, but now there's also a mini shape too. As you can see here, the Mickey Mouse shaped one is kind of a red color, and the Minnie Mouse shaped one is a more of a pink color with a little bow on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just fill in around the edges of the sandwich. I think that's gonna be the best place to fit these in. And then just for fun, I'm also gonna poke a little bit of a hole into the mandarin orange. Gives me a little space to add in another Minnie Mouse decoration. And now that brings us to the special treat. Remember those Minnie Mouse cinnamon rolls? Once they were cooled down, I went ahead and drizzled them with a little bit of the strawberry icing that they came with. And because I'm out of room in the regular lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a little separate container. Of course, this isn't a Minnie Mouse container, but it's still really cute. So I'm just gonna add one little cinnamon roll in here. Now for this lunch today, I have a very special new type of drink I just learned about, hashtag not sponsored, but you guys know I love to try new products all the time and these definitely piqued my interest because number one, these are like a healthy kid-friendly alternative to soda. It has zero sugar, zero calories, nothing artificial. And of course you guys know I love the Disney characters on the outside. Now, I actually found these on Amazon. If I can find a link, I'll add it down below. But basically, these little cans come in four different flavors. We have Fizzy Apple, Orange Cream, Fruit Punch, and Strawberry Lemonade. And since the Strawberry Lemonade has the Minnie Mouse on the outside, that's what I'm putting in Mackenzie's lunch today. Okay, Kenzie, what'd you think? I loved it. Is it your favorite so far? Yeah. Looks like you ate just about everything in here. Not mm -hmm. too bad. And what did you think of the strawberry cinnamon roll? Delicious. Yeah, those smelled so good. I really wanted to eat one, but I didn't. I was good. And what did you think about the drink? I didn't really like it. It's too <gasps> carbonated for me. Too carbonated? Oh. I so, really like carbonated drinks. Mm, oh well. I give this lunch two thumbs up. See you tomorrow. Good morning guys and happy Wednesday. Now today's lunch is going to be a hot lunch like I often like to make on Wednesdays, but it's also going to be inspired by Pusheen the cat. Mackenzie is a huge fan of Pusheen, which if you're unaware is an adorable little gray cat character. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you're also a fan of Pusheen. Now oftentimes when you see Pusheen, she's holding some kind of food, like pizza or ice cream or donuts. So Pusheen's favorite foods are going to be inspiring today's lunch. Starting with the main course, which is going to be noodles. To make today's lunch quick and easy, I'm just going to be using some of this frozen chow mein mix. But I have to tell you guys, normally I buy the frozen yakisoba from Costco and it looks almost identical to this chow mein from Sam's Club. I have a hunch that these are actually the same product, just in different packagings from different stores. So we're gonna give these a try today. These noodles are really great because they don't include any meat. It's just noodles and veggies and a really yummy sauce. And all you have to do is pop them in the microwave for about three minutes and they're ready to go. And of course, it wouldn't be a birthday lunch without some fairy bread. Well, our version of fairy bread anyway. This has definitely become a tradition that all of the kids look forward to. And like I said, 
this is my version. It's definitely different than the traditional Australian version. For Mackenzie's, instead of using regular butter, I'm just going to use a very, very small amount of Nutella or Nutella, however you want to pronounce it. And then, since Mackenzie is turning 10, I'm also punching out a 10 in her sandwich. And then I'm going to fill in these little spots with sprinkles. Of course, they stick to that Nutella perfectly. So this looks super fun and colorful, perfect for a birthday themed lunch. Now moving on to the fruit. For today's lunch, I'm gonna make kind of a fruit salad type thing with a mixture of bananas, apples, and strawberries. I just went ahead and chopped these up, added a little bit of lemon juice so that the bananas wouldn't turn brown. And then to the section of the lunchbox, I'm also going to be adding in this cute little Pusheen food pick. These are so cute. I'm gonna try to stick these in wherever I can. I'm going to add in the snack which is popcorn, another one of Pusheen's favorites. But you guys, this isn't just regular popcorn. This is actually the dill pickle flavored popcorn from Aldi. If you have not tried this, I totally recommend it. I think it is really good. If you are a fan of pickles, you will love this. Next up, I'm going to add in a few more veggies. Now I know that the noodles already have a ton of veggies in them, but I am going to go ahead and add some carrots as well. Using my mini vegetable cutters, I punched out some flower shapes. To go along with these, I'm also including some ranch. I know that's no surprise for you guys. If there's veggies in one of our lunches, there's most likely going to be ranch as well. And today I'm using this really adorable rainbow dip holder. And then finally for this lunch, the drink is just going to be water. Okay, I'm here with Mackenzie. Hi. Time to see what you have left. Let's check the thermos first. Ooh, what do you think of the noodles? It was really good. I'm pretty sure that might have been the best thing. Oh, that was your favorite? Mm -hmm. Oh, do they taste just like the noodles from Costco? Yeah, pretty much Ooh. the same. So it looks like you liked everything except for the popcorn. Yeah, I don't like the pickle popcorn. I think it's so good. I'm surprised you don't like it. But you liked everything else? Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Hey guys, and welcome to Thursday. Today I'm making another hot lunch with some of Mackenzie's favorite foods and some foods that start with M for Mackenzie. For this lunch, I'm going to start by making some good old mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, Mackenzie, totally goes together, right? And right now, Mackenzie's favorite kind of mac and cheese is the Annie's brand in the extra cheesy flavor. This is actually a shell mac and cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that on the stove. And while that's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare some cucumber curls. Right now, Mackenzie is a huge fan of cucumbers, but I definitely wanna change up the presentation here just so it's a little bit more fun and interesting, not the same thing I normally do. So for this, I'm using my mandolin slicer, and you guys have to be careful with these if you get one, they are super, sharp. So I'm just taking my cucumber and I'm very carefully running it along the blade just so I get these long thin strips of cucumber. Now all I have to do is slowly roll up the cucumber just like this and then I'm going to secure these on one of my reusable food picks and I'm going to keep doing this until I have about six pieces or so. I think that is plenty for a lunch. You guys these were really easy to make and it's really just a fun change that I think Mackenzie will appreciate. Next to the cucumbers, you guessed it, I'm adding a container of ranch dip. And then for Mackenzie's fruit, I'm gonna be adding in some mango. Now unfortunately at the grocery store, the fresh mango was looking not so good. So I'm going with some canned mango today. Though the noodles finished cooking, I went ahead and drained them, then I added in the cheese sauce, and now I'm just stirring it until it's all mixed up well. And now I'm just going to be adding it into the thermos. You guys, this mac and cheese is seriously good. You know, sometimes with some mac and cheeses, they kind of have like a weird aftertaste, but this one does not. It's really very good. Two thumbs up for this mac and cheese. For Mackenzie's snack today, she requested some mixed nuts. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to this supper container. Perfect size for snacking. Oh yes, but Mackenzie said with her mixed nuts, if I could make sure not to include any pecans, 
or pecans if you want to call them that. I'm not quite sure why, but these days she's not a fan of pecans. And now that brings us to the sweet treat. And I just want to add something small here, so I thought it would be really fun to add in some of these rolled wafer cookies. My kids always ask for these in the store and I almost never buy them. So I thought this week, since we're celebrating a birthday, it would be the perfect time to give them a try. I do want to go ahead and cut them in half though, just so that they fit better in the lunchbox. Oh yes, and I did forget to mention that these ones are strawberry flavored. I think that pink swirl on the outside looks so cool. And then to complete Mackenzie's lunch, I'm just adding in her water bottle. Okay, Kenzie, should we take a look? Mm -hmm. What did you think of this lunch? It was really good. Ooh, you ate all the mac and cheese, mm -hmm. and you ate your mixed nuts. Uh-huh. What did you think of the little rolled up cookie things? They were interesting, but they were really good. Yeah. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was the mac and cheese. Hmm. And we'll see you tomorrow. Happy Friday, you guys. Today, Mackenzie and I are going on a lunch adventure to Disney World. This is another tradition that I started with all of the kids this year since we moved to Florida. And it actually works out great because on Mackenzie's actual birthday, there's no school. So she's not even gonna miss anything. So for Mackenzie's birthday, she requested to spend half of the day at Hollywood Studios and half of the day at Epcot. While we were at Hollywood Studios, we did a little bit of shopping and Mackenzie picked out her own birthday presents while we were there. She picked out this adorable mini backpack. These little backpacks are so popular all over Disney World right now. She also picked out a new magic band. This one is super cute with the Disney emojis on it. And she also picked out a Wishable. Now these are actually like blind bags, so she wasn't exactly sure which one she was going to get. And it turned out to be Mickey's Fun Wheel, which is kind of funny since that ride is actually back in California. So after we hung out at Hollywood Studios for a little while, we took the Skyliner over to Epcot. And that's where Mackenzie picked out her lunch for the day. We ended up going to a restaurant called Sunshine Seasons. They're known for having lots of fresh, healthier options. And Mackenzie picked the kids meal of Mongolian beef, which actually looked super good. It came with fried rice, of course the Mongolian beef with lots of sauce and vegetables. And she also got to pick a few sides. So there were grapes and carrots. For her drink, she chose chocolate milk. Overall, she really liked the lunch, but I have to say I tried some and it was kind of on the spicier side. So I was pretty shocked that she liked it. Overall, it was a super fun day and I was very thankful to be able to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with Mackenzie. She is definitely my helper as the oldest kid, but I can't believe she's 10 years old. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button if you're new. Again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.